Holy sheesh, the demand for this Cybertruck is off the flipping charts. It's absolutely insane. Although this was expected, the amount of buzz for this car and for the company right now is next level. It's it's everywhere, it's in every news. When people see it on the road, they take pictures and they go around it, they get gathered around, they talk about it. It's insane, it's insane. I'm gonna show you guys today how crazy high of a demand this thing is and how it's gonna be changing Tesla's sentiment and narrative for all of 2024, pretty much. It's a lot of crazy stuff in this video, so if you guys are ready, man, smash that like button, man. Come on, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go. Google Trends, we type in Tesla Cybertruck for the past 30 days. Look at that, it, literally at 100. If the chart allowed it to go over 100, it'd probably go berserk. It's absolutely insane. Now the crazy part is, is if we all also type in Tesla here, look at that, Tesla's buzz is a whole lot more than Cybertruck. What does this mean? It means people are seeing this truck and they're typing in Tesla in the search. They're not typing in a Cybertruck because most people look at this car like, well, what is that? Is that an alien ship? Like, what is that? So if they type in Tesla in the search bar, then it takes them to the website where they get to browse through all the cars that Tesla offers. The three, the why, they get to learn more about it. The halo effect is insane for Tesla. It's crazy. And it's very important for Tesla because they're getting more people, more customers and onto the website, going into the showrooms and learning more about EVs, learning more about how the car operates, how they, how they learn that there's no annual services, it's cheaper than having a gas car, and all the awesome benefits that an EV, especially a Tesla, can offer. So this is very bullish for Tesla, and maybe sales may not convert this month because they gotta order them. It'll most likely have a great quarter one of 2024. I still do think that Q4 of 2023, this quarter is gonna be an absolutely crazy. It's gonna be an insane Q4, close to 500,000 vehicles, and I'll do a video on that separately, but that's insane. That is insane. To top it off here, Tesla Cybertruck reservation reportedly reached 2 million. Now this is old news, this is from September, before we have the prices that, that were confirmed. Now we do have prices that are confirmed. I do think maybe 50% of this would cancel. We don't know that for sure, but I'm going to take a guess and say 50%. That's still 1 million reservations, which is absolutely insane. Because if you're gonna get a truck for about $60,000 and that's not gonna come till 2025, for sure when they ramp and they scale, they bring prices down. But if people are making pre-orders today for 2025 for the single motor, most likely they're not going to get it till 2026, 2027 if Cybertruck productions are capped at 250,000. That's all I'm saying. I mean, a million reservations of Cybertruck, if you're producing and delivering 250,000 annually, that's going to take four years to get through the whole list. Then you got new customers, and that's for one million reservations, let alone two million. So really, it's going to be a sheesh moment. It's going to be an absolutely a sheesh moment. Another sheesh moment is, is that you park your Cybertruck anywhere and this is what happens. Find another truck that can do this. Unreal, absolutely insane. The amount of buzz this car is generating for Tesla is insane. Which other pickup truck in history had this type of effect? Just comment down below. When was the first pickup truck ever made, built? 80 years ago? 70 years ago? Was it like this? I don't think so. And if it was, it was because it's innovative. This is a new type of vehicle. The cyber truck is a truck, but it's just a whole different meaning of truck. And we'll get to that in a second. But that's insane. Absolutely crazy. A sheesh moment. To top it off with the crazy demand, I found this article. We will buy your cyber truck for $200,000. And no, this isn't a joke. Mind you guys, the most expensive one right now is just below 100,000. Sure, if you wanna add the taxes and all that kind of stuff, maybe 100, 10, 100, 20,000. These guys want 200,000 for whatever model you can get for 2023. Just let's go ahead and read it, it's insane. Key points, if you get us a Cybertruck before the end of 2023, we'll buy it for $200,000. Trim level doesn't matter, even though we do know it's going to be either the dual but most likely it's gonna be the beast. We will be buying a maximum of one vehicle. So one vehicle for $200,000, our prediction. Back in October, we put out an article predicting that early Cybertruck deliveries would resell on the market for around 200,000 mark. We derived this number from factors like weightless demand, production, anticipated retail price, and our company's own experiences with the automotive aftermarket. While the article itself got good traction on Reddit, a lot of people there seem to fundamentally disagree with our prediction. As you guys can see the disagreement, 
agreement, we still think we're right. We've decided to put our money where our mouth is. Cybertruck purchase offer. Resale calendar announcements, an exclusive offer to purchase a Tesla Cybertruck for $200,000, a considerable premium over its retail price. This lucrative opportunity is open to the first individual who can deliver one before the end of 2023. Now, how likely is it that we can find a Cybertruck? Obviously, finding a pre-2024 Cybertruck will be hard, but not impossible. So guys, what they're trying to do is that they're trying to get a Cybertruck built in 2023. In five, six, seven years, it's going to be very rare to find Cybertrucks that was built in 2023. Now, what's the difference? It's just the year, 2023. Yeah, this is a Cybertruck from 2023. So they're like, oh, it's probably the first 100 deliveries. And I think that has a lot of value. Think like, you know, Roadster, the first 100 or 200 Roadsters. Now they don't make them anymore. Obviously for Cybertrucks, they are going to make, but they're thinking that 2023 models Cybertruck models are going to be way a whole lot more because they were the first ones to be built. So I guess in 10, 20, 30 years from now, it's going to be pretty important and probably higher in value because it's just one of those ones that were built first if they keep it in good condition. So that's why they want it at 2023 and want to pay a premium for it. Is buying a Cybertruck for $200,000 a good investment? No. Prominent Tesla investors like Sawyer Merritt and Gary Black seem to think the company will be able to produce around 100,000 Cybertrucks in 2024. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how hyped the Cybertruck is. If production in 2024 is even one-tenth of what these guys predict, the aftermarket price will plummet towards MSRP in no time. At least we'll get to flex at Valet. Summary, if you currently own a Cybertruck or have one on the way before the end of the year that you'd like to sell, contact us as soon as possible for your chance to lock in a sale at $200,000. So that's insane. People, at least this guy, is willing to pay $200,000 for it, which is in flipping insane. And he does acknowledge that obviously the more Cybertruck that comes on the road, the more supply there is that feeds demand, later on, you know, price will come down. I mean, that's basic economics, but it looks like it. He wants to have a 2023 model. So in the next five, 10, 15 years, it can have some sort of value or it could be like that status that, Hey, these were the first couple hundreds that was, you know, delivered in 2023. You can never get them anymore. Even though 2024 is going to have the same spec, same everything than 2023 kind of weird, but anyways, <laughs> they're willing to pay up to 100000 for a Cybertruck, which is absolutely and flipping insane. Now, here's the thing, guys, when it comes to the Cybertruck. It's going to redefine what a pickup truck is. And I'm going to tell you guys or show you guys or read you something here that will prove that to you because the Cybertruck, yeah, you can use it for heavy duty and stuff like that, but you can do it for so much more. Again, it's going to redefine a pickup truck and it's going to bring a whole new audience to the pickup truck, pickup truck segment. It's a sheesh moment. Check this out. Shout out to Joseph, by the way, for writing this because this is an absolutely a sheesh X or a post. Six good friends. Four of them have pre-ordered the Cybertruck. All four of them intend to take delivery. Friend one, no intention to tow. Use it for camping, recreational purposes, car guy, hauling car parts. Friend two, no intention to tow. Use it for camping, recreational purposes, need truck bed for moving between San Diego and Las Vegas. Friend three, no intention to tow. Daily driver, love the truck form factor, a truck guy, rooftop tent camping use. Friend four, no intention to tow. Use it for camping. Again, all these guys are using this for camping, which is just absolutely a sheesh moment. Recreational purposes, restaurant owner, short camping trips, moving restaurant items and merch in the city. Friend number five, can't afford it. That's why he didn't pre-order it. Same thing with friend number six. Myself, no intention to tow. We'll use it daily. Recreational use, camping, road trips, and etc. So looking at these six or seven individual people, they're not buying it to use it for work or towing purposes. In fact, they're doing it for other things, recreational purposes, camping, road trips, daily driver, and it's flipping insane. Again, I'm, 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 I, I keep saying this, I'll say it again, that Cybertruck is going to redefine what a pickup truck is, and it's going to bring whole new audience, whole new customers to this base because of the Cybertruck. It's no longer, we're not going to see Cybertruck as viewing this truck where it's only made to do heavy duty work. None of that anymore. That's those days are finished. And he finishes off here by saying, if you think Tesla Cybertruck is not in high demand, you are badly mistaken. Cybertruck will sell like hotcakes for years to come. And that is a sheesh moment. And I agree with it 150,000%. Again, the shape of it is very interesting. It's, I guess, most people, most people want to call it ugly. But the things that you can do with it, the things that come with it, it's insane. And the technology it has, it's next level. And the price 
is literally competing with the Ford 150 decked out if you want to compare it to the Cybertruck Beast mode. The single motor, which is like after all savings, is below $50,000, which is cheaper than the average truck being sold in the United States. So it's bang for your buck and it's just changing the whole definition of what a Cybertruck is. And I, and I retweeted or requoted this post saying that the Cybertruck is redefining what a pickup truck is. After the Cybertruck, the meaning of a pickup truck will no longer mean it's made just for work. Sheesh. I mean, that's true. I do believe that you can use it for camping. You can use it to, you know, charge your home. You can charge other vehicles. You can do barbecue on it. You can do, you know, have a tent. You can live in it. It's going to be a, it's going to be multiple use for it. It's going to be a sheesh moment and I'm looking forward to it what it can do Sheesh. so the cyber truck on delivery day broke the internet right now the cyber truck is making the internet literally everywhere you look youtube google you look at freaking all social media apps anyone who sees a cyber truck on the road will take a picture and it'll just get instantly thousands of views because it's it's, it's just it's the truck of the century man it's the truck of our generation and what a wonderful time to be alive. What an absolutely ashish moment. There's, there's so many other charts that shows how crazy demand and how much of a buzz this car is made, this truck is making. But if I want to show you all that, this video will be probably an hour long and uh, ain't nobody got time for that. So thank you guys for staying around this long. If you guys are smashed that like button. But here's the question though, okay? So Cybertruck, that's cool. They're going to sell a lot, but will it move the stock? Right? Will it will it will it bring the stock to the all time high? And I made that video right here. Obviously, not a prediction. I mean, it is a prediction. I'm just saying it's not facts. Take everything with a grain of salt and do your DD. Guys, support the channel by getting you a bought the dip T-shirt. I'm wearing my go all in one because the other one is in the laundry. So support me there and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.